Yo, ha ha, Bill uh, Nicholson. What is good, YouTube? Your boy Milton Levinson coming back with another quick video. And man, it just kind of feels good to be back kind of on a YouTube channel because lately time, man, my time has been consumed like crazy. I mean, you name it. But <laughs> finally back on the channel and I wanted to talk about <clears throat> at least today's sellout, right? And I think a lot of people in the sneaker community are tired of hearing this where shoes come out and they sell out, so what I call is a fake sellout. So today the Air Jordan 1 Lucky Greens come out and there was kind of a demand for it. It wasn't like a overwhelming demand in the sneaker community from what I saw. People just didn't, either they liked the, the color blocking scheme, if they didn't get the original pine green that came out, um, they were content in getting the Lucky Green, which is kind of like a kind of like a pine green, but the, the hue was a little bit off, right? So. It was mixed feelings, but I knew in my back of my mind that this shoe was not selling out. It wasn't selling out completely in different sizes. <clears throat> so <laughs> fast forward to today and what happens, right? On a lot of people's lives, I've seen, you know, people say, oh, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. And then 20 minutes later after the release, you see the pairs kind of getting loaded back on the actual app. And it wasn't just the Nike sneakers app. I mean, like this happened at different shoe companies, right? Shoe company websites where it just, it looks like it's sold out, but it's not. So I'm gonna say that to say this. On behalf of a lot of people in the sneak community, this marketing strategy, I think a lot of people are getting tired of. <laughs> and what's happening in my opinion, I think it might be backfiring to some of these companies to try that strategic design where it's like, oh, it's a sellout, but it's not, right? But listen, Everybody's going to do their own thing. I get it. It's just that I feel like people are just hip to the game <clears throat> and they're tired of it. That's 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 the feedback that I got uh, from some of my people in the sneak community about these fake sellouts. So, of course, I think the Jackie Chan, I said Jackie Chan, the Jackie Robinson, I say Jackie Chan, the Jackie Robinson Air Force One Low um, released also today. That one hit and miss. Uh, I think people prefer the dunks that came out and even the Ken Griffey's that came out. I believe it was like, I don't want to say a year and a half ago. I actually like both of those renditions. Uh, so that was pretty cool. And of course, you got Nike kind of, actually, I will give Nike a lot of positive feedback on what they're trying to do in terms of marketing now, which is what I like to do, which is reaching out to you guys to get your opinion. And now, you know, if you notice on the sneakers app, you see them reaching out to people to try to poll of how certain releases should take place. Most recently, the Air Jordan 4, at least the Lightnings that's coming out, at least later to release soon, uh, they wanted to find out, hey, would you like us to release this shoe earlier than the actual release date? And an overwhelming percentage of people actually want it to be early, right? On the flip side, they also said, hey, do you want us to release the Air Jordan 1, or at least re-release the Air Jordan 1 Reimagined Chicago's? And... You know, I think the question was, would you, if, if we do it, would you tell somebody? Would you tell a group or would you keep it quiet? And a lot of people said they would keep it quiet. So <laughs> I completely understand. I completely understand. But your boy didn't really go after the Lucky Greens. Um, I passed on that because I have the Pine Green. At least I think they labeled these the Pine Greens 2.0s. So it didn't make sense for me to go after the, the Lucky Green. And, of course, with the yellow, with the Jordan 4 Thunders coming out, um, I, I think I'm going to go after that just because I got the red Thunder, so I kind of wanted to put two and two together. I actually like both versions, in my opinion. But comment below. Let me know what you think about the whole fake sellout tactic in the sneaker community, at least the sneaker market, because it happens a lot. It's not just Nike. A lot of companies do this, and I think people are getting, like, hip to what's going on, and it's like, Nah. Also, before I go, listen, shout out to Enter the AM for sending your boy a nice graphic t-shirt. Uh, this t-shirt that you see right here actually is on sale. And I told you guys, listen, the best, best in fabric. One of the best in fabric. And also the boxer brief. And this one is made out of, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say 92% 92, 92 modal. 
Uh, so think about like the stretchability and, and breathability of this boxer. I actually had a chance to put uh, another pair on, and man, I, I don't, I never wear boxer briefs, but this is very, very, very comfortable, and it's on sale as well. Listen, use my code Millie Mel, get yourself ten percent off. You will not regret this purchase. This is also on sale as well on the NT, the AM website, if I'm not mistaken. But man, oh man, and also before I go, listen, today first game. Sixers versus Brooklyn. My, my Sixers are taking on the Brooklyn Nets. Good luck to the uh, Philadelphia 76ers. Hopefully we can uh, take care of game one and kind of go on from there with the NBA series starting today, at least the playoffs. But your boy, Melissa, man, for now I am out. Yes, I'm still alive. But again, the past two weeks, a lot of people have been consuming my time. Uh, but I also have been doing a lot of house projects. Um, so, you know, hopefully... Most of it is done already, so you'll probably see me back on a little bit more often. Uh, but for right now, your boy's just been grinding out a lot of work, a lot of work. But your boy, Mundo said, man, I am out. Today is Saturday. You guys, stay blessed. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Milton Nipperson, and Firebox teaming up because we would like to give you guys 10% off any Firebox merchandise. All you have to do is click the link in the description below. Use code Millie Milk, and you're on your way. I am out. You guys. Stay blessed.